future from the past. Yeah. Make a toast, raise your glass. Come on. Towards the future from the past. All right, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Napster is not dead. It is very much alive. And it's available on Google TV. It's a free app, but it does require a monthly subscription. So you've got to sign up for Napster. It comes with a 14-day free trial. And once you're in there, you can play a lot of songs on demand. I believe they have over 10 million songs. If you're into rock, pop, hip-hop, and a lot of current music, you're going to find the songs that you want to hear. But if you're into some older stuff, there may be some cases where they don't have everything. But let's just take a look. You can explore by genre. You can see charts from Billboard or Napster to see what's popular. Uh, you can search. So let's say I want to listen to one of the greatest bands of all time, a Mr. Hall and a Mr. Oates. I can just search for their name and it's going to come up. I click their name and I can create an auto mix, which is going to show like uh, similar to Pandora, it's going to mix artists who are of similar nature with them, similar sound. I can mark them as a favorite. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, I just marked Hall and Oates as a favorite. And then I can play all their top songs and it'll create a playlist for me right now. I can also go to my collection, which houses your favorite songs, albums, and artists, as well as playlists. So as I click on my artists, you see I got Enchantment, Hall & Oates, Johnny Cash. At any time, I can click on them and listen to their music libraries. Or I can go back and I want to hear a particular playlist. So I can browse my playlist. I've got Ruffin Radio, which is uh, David Ruffin songs. Quarter Water and Tim's, that's my Wu-Tang mix. And of course, my favorite mix, the Penny Droppers. I'll let you guess what that's for. So I can scroll through and I say, you know what, play all of the songs on here. Wait, oh, I pressed the back button by accident, excuse me. And I'm gonna press play now. Yep. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, baby, come on, oh. And I can skip to the next song. Uh, it has a really nice player in the bottom. Let me click on that really quick. Uh, it's going to show your cover art. And if I press either of the direction buttons, it brings up the chance to skip to the next song, skip backwards exit or view the playlist again uh, now I should warn you this app is not without problems I, I experienced a couple of cases uh, in the week where I've tested it twice it has refused to start and play songs uh, I actually caught one of these attempts in video. The first time I tried to demo this app, it crashed on me. So I'm going to put that at the end of this clip. So you can make a decision whether or not you're going to risk Napster. Uh, so let's forward to that while I continue to listen to these songs. And I open it up and I press play now. If you want, you can play the whole playlist at the same time. Or you can just play that one particular song. Oh, and it's freezing. Damn it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw is a Napster fail. This is a problem that I've experienced twice in the week that I've had my Google TV. So I'm going to have to say for now, I cannot recommend Napster because it fails to play music on demand and it's an on demand service. There have been two times where I've tried to play the music and it just for some reason it failed. I double checked my internet connection just now. Every other thing works except for this. So until they get that addressed, I'd say pass on it for now. So sorry Napster. Yeah. Yeah. Make a toast. Raise 
glass. Come on, the future. Come on.